Kinaolohmoa. Welcome to the second video about Indigenous perspectives on cannabis and vaping, highlighting a toolkit for educators, brought to you by ONICA, the Ontario Native Education Counseling Association. This resource was created in collaboration with elders, youth advisors, and community members. My name is Sherry Huff, and I'll be your guide to explore this resource in your classroom. I'm speaking today from my home territory of Elnapawi Lakawit in southwestern Ontario. Onika is situated in Atikamekshing Anishinaabek in northeastern Ontario. This resource is for all of us in Ontario. Now let's take a look at learning activities for students found in pages 30 to 39 of Onika's Indigenous Perspectives on Cannabis and Vaping Toolkit for Educators. The first activity is in relation to the medicine wheel, which many First Nations are accustomed to in relation to their cultural teachings. It can be used and influenced as a tool to organize thoughts and evaluate in relation to balance. The medicine wheel's basic teachings are to find balance within four aspects of ourselves, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. In order to attain balance, each needs to be nourished equally which contributes to being strong and happy. The activity suggests brainstorming as a group into how each person nurtures emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual help. This activity could also be done in smaller groups, pairs, and also individually. The second activity explores possible consequences when using cannabis and explores positive alternatives to drug use. Educators can display on a screen the stick figure, and students receive an individual worksheet. Imagine that this stick figure is someone in the class, and draw the face and hair representing this person. Next, think of some consequences this person might encounter when using cannabis and breaking cannabis laws. Share ideas, and write them next to the stick figure. Now, Brainstorm ways the stick figure can avoid the consequences they identified. Encourage pro-social activities that don't involve drugs. Share ideas and write them on the opposite side of the stick figure. This group activity can also be done individually. Students can write on their own sheets to reflect their own personal lives. It can be shared or kept as a personal journal piece. At all stages of life, Everyone can benefit from a self-care plan. This next activity encourages mindfulness and shows how to practice self-care, which helps support management of stress and decrease the chances of exploring substance use. We are unique, which is why this activity is best done individually with personal charts, since what works for one might not work for another. Students can share their ideas in a class discussion. The chart gives examples, helps participants reflect on current self-care practices, and encourages trying new practices. Have you ever heard of the Tree of Life? There exist various interpretations, but most compare us as human beings to trees. Trees start out as small seedlings connected to the earth. They show strength by going through multiple changes and enduring all sorts of weather. We also experience changes and challenges throughout life. As we grow, we learn how to deal with situations, and as a result, we grow stronger and gain more knowledge. Students can write positive and negative influences in their life on either side of the tree, the positive on the healthy side and the negative on the unhealthy side of the tree. The fifth activity is about brainstorming about why youth use cannabis. Organize the group into a circle in order to have a talking circle so each individual has a chance to talk, moving from person to person in one direction. You might find it helpful having an item such as a rock to pass around for the speaker to hold while talking. Students can have a paper and pen if they choose to write down ideas during the discussion. Possible questions to discuss are, what are some reasons why youth try cannabis for the first time? What does problematic cannabis use look like? What are some reasons why youth might use cannabis regularly? Do you think it's helpful to know the potential dangers of cannabis use? 
The final activity is reflective questions on a Nana Bojo tale. Nana Bojo is an odd cultural character that can be amazing, since in some stories he's done great things. But in other stories, he can be a bad influence and make terrible decisions. After viewing the short comical video, there's a series of questions to answer as a class, individually, or in pairs. The questions are about peer pressure and the negative effects of cannabis. Finally, this guide offers a quiz to test your knowledge gained throughout the entire guide. These questions can assist in a diagnostic or summative evaluation. Also, the questions could be used before and after using this guide, so learners can compare how much they learned and what they didn't know versus what they know now thanks to this resource. These questions could also be used as a class activity by making them an interactive game using a platform like Kahoot. In any of the activities mentioned so far, you can enrich the experience by inviting community knowledge keepers or elders to collaborate by offering additional teachings before, during, or after the activities. That's a wrap on our videos highlighting the toolkit for educators on Indigenous perspectives on cannabis and vaping. We hope you put our resources to good use and have those important discussions in your classrooms about cannabis. I'd like to thank the Ontario Native Education Counseling Association for funding this project. La Pichikinawa.